I'm going to pick right back up the next day at the train station. Aga Peter, William, you all packed up for this trip? Yeah, I ain't got much to pack. Burned it all on the last train I was on. You're not gonna have conniptions being on this one? I'll be alright. Last one didn't kill me. I don't think this one can. I guess that's one way to look at it. Turns his attention to Agapita. You got everything you need? Just about. Well, and he reaches inside of his um, coat, pulls out two envelopes. Your payment. Now, might not be what you're expecting in there. I'll leave that little bit of a surprise. I told you I wasn't expecting much of nothing. Do it for the work. I mean, but all... I do like to not starve. I was going to say, if you don't want it, you can just hand it right over to Agapita. I'm sure she'll take it. I try not to turn down donations to the church in good faith. Well. I guess this will be the last time I'm seeing the two of you for a while. I can get Here's you... hoping. I can get you some contacts. One out there. Wow. That's nice. Pull. Pull out a couple of envelopes with letters I wrote. Like, gremlins in the telegram. I don't want gremlins involved in this. And I'm going to hand him the letters that I put together to write to just a few people in the in the church that may have some ideas of what could be done. Let's keep these, uh, keep these off of the, off of the new science wires. Absolutely. I'll get these mailed out as soon as possible. You hear another voice call out, all aboard. Time to go. Yep. <laughs> I'll kind of hit my hat uh, and uh, step up on the train. He tips his hat. Joints are stiff. Laying around in a bed for a month make you sore. Well, it's good that you're finally up and walking. I'm gonna like <clears throat> check what was in this envelope as we're sitting down. I just fold mine in half and shove it in an inside pocket. <laughs> It's five hundred dollars. Mm. Okay. Keep it in my bag. He go light on you? <laughs> light. No. This is the other the rest side of, of my it life. Then. Good. Yeah. Let's go find our seats. Get a drink. <laughs> Read my ticket. And push my way through the cars. Go find my seat. Sit down. Open up a Bible. Start reading.
the train lurches forward as it begins to take off down the tracks. Now it's not a... It's a long trip, even by train. There might be a part of you that thinks, wow, this would be much quicker if we were on that other train. You know, that sadistic, cruel part of your mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But, certainly faster than a horse. You end up... Not... In... California, because first you have to hop off of your current track, then onto the Dixie Rails, down to El Paso. That train line takes you through tombstone up to Yuma and finally railhead mm -hmm. be a, what, a few days about horse from there to Lost Angels and of course in between <laughs> Lost Angels and railhead is the town of perdition Mm-hmm. Do you exit the train car into railhead? The train arrived in the wee hours of the morning. The sun's just cresting over. You can actually make out some of the jagged canyons, as large as they are. Still pretty far off in the distance, however. Yeah. I'm like looking out. You know, the last time you were looking at the sunrise out of a train. I got blown wasn't up. This... <laughs> well, I was going to say it wasn't this beautiful, but that too. I'm glad we didn't end up in the hunting grounds. <laughs> kind of looks you up and down and says, yet. Best not to get too <laughs> confident. Glad you didn't die. Really glad you didn't die. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the uh, angels had their work cut out for them that day. But they did not falter. The book says, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. And that they did. I told that big bastard in that engine car that he'd die first. I didn't think I'd be so close behind him, though. <laughs> <laughs> wonder what happens to the folks in that bar car that we cut loose. wonder if they got to go free. I hope he's sliding drinks over to somebody somewhere. He's pretty good at it. It was a 
a fantastic glass slide. It really was. Um, when we get to Railhead before um, before we catch a like a coach to Perdition, um, I will I'll send a telegram that uh, to to uh, to our our guy in the uh, Twilight Legion that just says uh, arrived in Railhead coach out to perdition on the morning should be in lost angels in three days eyes to where we're at so that he has an idea of uh, where and how to get information to us and where where to expect us as we go as we come off the line and things become a little less predictable And, uh, yeah, taking it easy. Nice, long, relaxing train ride and some conversation and some drinks. Mostly Sorry. for you. Sorry about that. There was just an explosion that happened, and I'm just like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> <gasps> it was a legit explosion that the just train. happened. Some idiot just bundled up a bunch of black powder from a firework and exploded it. Got it. Like enough to shake a house, though. Like that's why I was like, "What's going on?" Sorry about that. <laughs> when you see all the blue lights and the guys invest in the thirty minutes, you'll know why. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, yeah. You get you catch that though. Yeah. Yeah. Sending a telegram, three days out. Yep. And I'll I'll send one in Lost Angels and so on as we kind of as we're making our way to wherever we're going, yep. just keeping up to date. And since the travel once you get off the rail is a bit less predictable. The trip to Perdition. is uneventful the coach pulls in and an individual is waiting for you at the local inn he gives a tip of his hat reverend Agapita if I'm not mistaken you got me by advantage oh, yes. you are and I'll reach a hand out to shake it. He reaches out, shakes your hand. Twilight member. Former member of the church as well. Well. Former member Big as in I don't have any responsibilities or duties anymore. You picked a shit town to retire in. Let's say I retired. Our mutual friend has kept me in the loop. What are you hoping to find out here, Agapita? Or have my people supposed to come here? Arrive here at least. It's very. Our elder was very vague with it, as most wise elders are, so. <laughs> well. You're not gonna find him here in perdition. However, I can, I can help you with something else. However, it might be a little bit more than what you bargained for. Hmm. So was the last train we got on. 
He kind of chuckles. I heard about that. Well, thankfully, no trains involved here, though. You're gonna end up in the... In the maze. If you follow this lead. Well, give it to me. What do we got? So... If anything. It's pretty far south. Almost right on the border of here in Mexico. You ever heard of a place called Sunken City? No, I don't know much about this place out, but about the West Coast. Well, it's called the Sunken City because, well, it's sunken. Well, parts of it. Creative. Gives a wry smirk. There was a church there. A church that had a very peculiar claim to fame. Claimed it had a bit of the old cross. Now. The cross. That's the one. telling me there's a piece of the true cross buried in a canyon in California you see the early church after the apostles left the earth as it were filled with apostasy And things like that were considered nothing more than a fanciful collector's item. Bits and pieces went off to the highest bidder, went here, went there. Some ended up in the hands of the faithful, others didn't. Now, Indeed. I can't 100% guarantee that it's actually there, and if it is there, it's not. It's in one of the parts that's not sunk. But something with that much of ho that much holy on it. That might be what we need. That's what I'm thinking too. Gonna give Agapita a side eye. I look down. S south instead of north. It is then. They got enough stuff in here to pack a bag for something like that, or is it just ghost rock, ghost rock, and shit in this town? Pretty much the latter. You'll be able to get a little bit of what you need, but... Might want to head to a bigger place like Lost, Lost Angels first. Pick up what you need there then head down what are we a day out give okay. or take depending on how you ride I mean let's go don't really need much we heading down south of Calif south south of here we at least need some saddlebags full of water and Couple weeks of trail rations. And a map. And likely some climbing gear. Oh, right. Yeah. So. Let's ride on into Lost Angels. Stock up. Fill a couple saddlebags. A couple backpacks. And then head out fresh on a, mor on a morning. And get a map, maybe. Maybe also, even find a guide, someone who knows their way down there well enough that we don't have to worry about getting lost. Kind of points at you, that's a, not necessarily a guide, but I was going to recommend you might want to look for some help while you're there. Yeah, we two manned the last job and it didn't end as, 
It could have went better. Could have went worse, to be fair. But it could have went better. Maybe we can get a couple more. You know anybody down the city we can look up? We have a few contacts. Uh, this was a yours, your eyes only type situation, though, so we haven't been necessarily putting the word out. Nah, just a couple good, good, good people that maybe, maybe got a little, um, maybe feeling a little cooped up. Kind of. He passes along a sheet of paper that has a few names on it. Look them up. See what they say. No guarantees, of course. He'll fold it up without looking at it. Just like you did the money. Stick it in the pocket. I need... A barely cooked piece of cow and a whiskey. They got those here, or do y'all eat the ghost rock too? No, of that we got here. Which direction? He gestures for you to follow him. Any last words before we call it here? Nope. I'm gonna die in seven days. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he'll uh, eat, drink, and uh, head down to Lost Angels and you know, put together a proper posse, hopefully, and see if we can go find a piece of the crew, True Cross to stab Agapita in the in the chest with. Wait, what? <laughs> that part of the ritual I don't mention to the last second. <laughs> Anything from Akapita? I, s I smell any fear in the air. Love, love this place. Oh, Perdition? Perdition's a four. A bit. A bit. Mm-hmm. Good. That's really good. Mm-hmm. A lot of say. And this is where we're going to leave. This two-man posse for now. Thank you all for watching. This has been Spaghetti Wednesdays, Deadlands Edition. Thanks for watching Spaghetti Wednesdays on the Domain Gaming, the actual play series where we throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can also support us on Patreon and get access to exclusive content, behind the scenes, and more. Tune in next week for another thrilling adventure on Spaghetti Wednesdays. Let's see what sticks this time. <laughs> <laughs>